Rose is what you put inside a table in an Oracle database. These rows sit inside data blocks. Let's look at how does a row look like. Generally, rows are variable in length, meaning even though I might have a table with five columns, it is not necessary every row will be of the same size. Simple reason, depending on what data you put, accordingly the row length will vary. Unless all your columns are of type care, because care is fixed width. But if you use where care, then it is varying width. So even though you might have defined a column as where care 100, if you just put one character on that column for a given row, it will just occupy one byte. So depending on the column definition, the row sizes can vary for each row of the same table. When a row is stored, it can be stored as one piece or it can get split into more than one piece and get stored across blocks. A typical case could be when row chaining occurs. I will talk about row chaining and row migration in another video. But understand, a row need not be necessarily sitting in one block itself. It can get split into multiple pieces. So what is the structure of a row? Assuming my row is just one piece, then the entire row is kept inside one block. It has a header and column data. What does the row header contain? What are all the columns that are stored in this piece? And if this table is a table cluster, what is the cluster key for this table cluster is also stored. But on the other hand, if there are multiple pieces for the same row, then the piece header here in this case would also have information about the other pieces of this row. After the header comes the column data. What is stored in this part is actually your row data. Typically in a row, the columns are stored in the same order in which you created the table. Remember, when you create a table, you can specify column one, column two, column three. Typically, a row contains the data in the same order in which the table was created, which means if you alter a table and add a new column, then that column will sit at the end of the row. A general exception is if you have a long data type, generally it sits at the end, even if that column is defined in the first or second column, for example, it will not necessarily sit in the front, long goes to the end. Similarly, log, large objects, if it is binary large object, it is going to be sitting in a separate segment altogether. It doesn't sit along with the row. But if it is a character large object, then up to 4000 bytes, it might sit in the row or more than 4000 bytes, it also gets into its own lob segment. Every column, when it is part of the row, is going to have the column length, column data, column length, column data. So at the end of the day, when you have a row inside the block, you have the row header and the list of all columns and their length along with their data stored in the row. This is what a row looks like in an Oracle database and a row can have just one piece or more than one piece depending on the size of your block and size of your row.